the name of the company is WeFone. Um, um, my name is Maddie Karana. I'm the founder of WeFone. Uh, and uh, what is WeFone? We, WeFone is a startup and we want to rethink uh, mobile uh, as it is today. Uh, what you see today is, is, is the same architecture that's been there for 15, 20 years now. The mobile phone has really not changed. Uh, we've been adding more features onto the phone and the device, but um, fundamentally it's the same architecture. Um, what's the problem we're trying to solve? The problem is, is the price, the price that you know, the mobile users are having to pay for the device and their subscription service. Uh, and a new device, a very expensive device, always getting more expensive, um, is, is almost needed every two years. Uh, the devices are getting slower, they're being uh, uh, slowed down on purpose. Um, so you're needing a new device pretty much every two years. Uh, it has an impact both on your wallet and the environment as well. Um, so what's the solution? So what can we do about it? How do we, how do we solve this problem? Um, so we want to build the Chromebook for mobiles. We want to push all of the uh, computing uh, uh, into the cloud, um, your app applications, your apps, everything run on the cloud, your data, your storage, your processing capability, everything stays in the cloud. Your device, your phone device, just becomes um, a dumb device, a display device um, with very limited storage, very, lim you know, very limited uh, operating system running on your device. So how does that help? So that helps by one, you can extend the, uh, the life of your phone. You don't, you don't need a new phone as, as quickly. And eventually these, de these devices will be uh, much, much cheaper. You can use your existing device. The, the software we provide will actually allow you to do that. So you can run with your existing device for another three to four years. Uh, <clears throat> and, uh, and why, why now? Why, why, why can we do this now? Why wasn't this tried? Why wasn't this uh, done before? There have been attempts to try and do this before. It hasn't worked. And um, we think it's the 5G that will actually make this whole thing happen. The user experience has been a huge factor in that, in the, in, in the fact that uh, you get the same user experience as you do right now with a very uh, bulky device, a very process intensive device in your hands that actually makes the, that experience very smooth, uh, which is what people are looking for. And, and it's been uh, attempted before, like I said, and it hasn't worked. And I think 5G and the combination of the cloud computing being very mature right now, that will actually make this whole thing happen. <coughs> um, in, in terms of... Um, so. um, uh, have I think, you know, always, you know, you've got your laptops that are actually getting cheaper, they're getting more, um, uh, more powerful, yet they're getting cheaper. But it isn't the same for mobile devices, is it? It's actually the opposite. Mobile devices are getting more expensive, uh, you're ha having to pay for it, uh, of course, and uh, you're getting, uh, why, why do they have to get expensive? They, they can go the other way, right? Um, can we go to the next slide, please? Uh, yes, so here, so our, our, our plan um, is, so let's have the product. The product is, it, you bring your own device in the initial um, uh, phase, bring your own device for an unlimited voice and a data mobile service, right? Um, so that's what you get, you can, you can use your existing phone, we'll, we'll provide the software and that'll allow you to have a service. Uh, we've done some uh, high level numbers in terms of uh, number of global users versus the, uh, the users in the UK. So the, the, the big circle is the global numbers, uh, the small circle is the uh, UK numbers. So we've used uh, um, a 1.5 share of the total mobile users, which is what the, the Chromebook shares for the, is of the, the laptop users in the, in the, world, uh, in the world, which is 1.5%. Um, so that gives you those numbers in terms of, you know, what is possible, and we've used some industry numbers to actually uh, work those things out. Um, in, terms of a, in terms of a plan, what do we want to do and how do we want to do this? Um, so we've done, we've done the, we're working on the prototype right now, we're 80% of the way through. Uh, we need to finish that. Well, our plan is to finish that by Q3 2020. We have definitely been affected by uh, COVID-19 uh, without saying, uh, but we're on track to try and finish that. <coughs> and uh, we want to launch um, early Q1, so Q1 2021. Is that, that's where we want to launch. Can we move to the next slide? Um, <coughs> and uh, the team that we have. So you're surely Maddie Carada. I'm the founder and I have I'm, a, I'm an author, uh, both a Gartner, TM Forum, and recognized top 30 uh, red tech influencer as well. I work with uh, both uh, Vodafone, BT, FCA, and the like. I've got a team of uh, other people, which I won't go through, but you know they're all there. And they've got experience from Nokia, Informa, uh, some of the big uh, 
financial services institutions as well. Um, so we're looking for some funding and uh, so that's there. My details are out there and any questions uh, in terms of collaboration, in terms of working with us, in terms of leading, uh, we're, we're looking at uh, all different kinds of uh, ways to collaborate. Thank you very much.